Hi and welcome to Economics Week 16. So we will begin this week, the first week of the new term, um, by reflecting on our recent midterm uh, exam. So the first session will be dedicated to a comprehensive review where we will delve into the key concepts and address any questions or concerns you may have about the exam. The lesson plan for our review will include a thorough analysis of the exam questions, emphasizing both uh, correct answers and common misconceptions. So I hope that it will provide clarity on challenging topics and enhance your understanding of the material. We'll also be having a discussion, allowing you to actively participate in the review process. So please come prepared with your questions and a willingness to collaborate as we work to reinforce your comprehension of the subject matter. Uh, I'm confident that the review will be a valuable learning experience and that it will prepare you for the remainder of the semester. So I look forward to that. In terms of the material for economics, uh, we are going to be talking about, excuse me one second. We're going to go through the world of finance. Uh, we're going to kick it off by examining two recent banking crises, the structure of the Federal Reserve System, different types of financial institutions, and the pivotal roles played by credit trading agencies and insurance companies in global financial markets. So we'll begin with um, the, the, with a crisis that unfolded in the United States in the late 2000s. It was triggered by a perfect storm, you could say, of lax regulatory oversight and risky lending practices. This concoction led to a housing bubble that eventually burst, resulting in a domino effect of financial institutions collapsing akin to a house of cards. Simultaneously, across the Atlantic, Ireland faced its own economic turmoil. Around the, around the same period, a sovereign debt crisis uh, gripped the nation. Weak fiscal policies and soaring government debt eroded investor confidence, setting off a chain reaction. The Irish government struggled to meet its financial obligations, sparking panic in the banking sector and precipitating a significant economic downturn. We'll also um, be delving into the backbone of the U.S. financial system, that is the Federal Reserve System. Established in 1913, uh, the Fed comprises 12 regional banks working in tandem with the Board of Governors in Washington, D.C. This institution plays a critical role in regulating monetary policy, that is regulating interest rates, controlling inflation, and fostering economic stability on a national scale. Then we'll be exploring the diverse landscape of financial institutions, from traditional banks and credit unions to cutting edge fintech companies. The financial sector offers a wide array of institutions, each serving a unique purpose. These entities provide essential services such as savings and checking accounts, loans, investment opportunities, and technological innovations to facilitate seamless financial transactions. We'll conclude the week by unraveling the vital roles of credit rating, of credit rating agencies and insurance companies in financial markets. Credit rating agencies like Moody's or S&P Global play a crucial role in assessing the credit worthiness of entities. Credit worthiness meaning the ability of a company or a government to pay back its debts. Uh, that applies for both governments and corporations. This assessment aids investors in making informed decisions, of course. On the other front, insurance companies contribute significantly to financial stability by providing uh, risk mitigation through policies covering health, property, life, and liability. So that's a glimpse into the topics of the week, the banking crises, the Federal Reserve System, the diverse realm of financial institutions, and the indispensable contributions of uh, rating agencies and insurance companies. So um, 
I look forward to seeing you all. I hope that this has been fruitful and productive. And I look forward to working with you in class. Thank you.